All right. So first off, um, let's let's talk about the AEW Collision CM Punk debut. I texted you about it, messaged you, whatever you want to call it, because I finally could get one out this weekend. And I said, man, you got to you got to see it. Please tell me you saw it. I still don't know if you saw it or heard it. Did you at least hear it? What? Punk's promo. Oh yeah, I was there. We were uh, yeah, I was, you were uh, there. I was home. I watched it and uh You were there. <laughs> yeah, I was in the crowd. <laughs> All right. So I wanna I'm gonna play some audio from it, but before I play it, I just wanna say, yeah, you know, we talked about this several months ago. We litigated, you know, how we thought CM Punk was wrong and we also went over where the Bucks were wrong and all that good stuff. So, you know, you can find that on our YouTube channel. But I want to play this clip now from Punk because there's just some really good sound bites in this. So uh, let's listen to this real quick. From This is not the whole promo, but a piece of it. And then Doc and I are going to talk about it on the other side. Here it is. I am me. And I couldn't have done all of this without all of you. But it seems there's some people that hate me for the same reasons you all love me. Hey, listen. I understand that the sheer magnitude of me makes people uncomfortable. I very much understand that my mere presence makes people uncomfortable. That's because I am the truth, and the truth is painful. This sign right here says CM Punk is my hero. You can call me that. This sign here says Pepsi Phil. You can call me that. This sign here says CM Junk. You can call me that. Boo me. Cheer me, love me, hate me. You all do it because you know I'm right. <laughs> you can call me whatever you want. You know what David Zasloff calls me? Oh, here we go. One Bill Phil. That's because I am the one true, genuine article in a business full of counterfeit bucks. <laughs> The king is back, baby. Is he Elvis now? And I do have a lot of things to get off my chest. in Chicago and then I'll get out of your hair why would I change this is what Joe Strummer trained me for I will always speak truth to power I will always be myself I will never compromise and there's the people that think that they are owed an apology I've grown older and wiser in my years. Sometimes it's better to be the bigger man. If you feel you're here today and I owe you an apology, here it is. I am sorry that the only people softer than you are the wrestlers you like. <laughs> Tell me when I'm telling lies. All right, I had enough. Doc, your initial reaction to a couple well, of he was there? great, and when he's going up the ramp, he says off mic to the camera, "I didn't come here to become a star. I am a star." 
Yeah, I didn't catch that part, but that's. But here, but, but the thing I lo- I love about him is, like, I feel like the Bucks would grab you and go, "Please, please pay attention to us. Please, please pay attention to us." He's confident and like, "You're going to pay attention to me because that's what's going to happen." You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and we're not regular viewers of AEW, to be fair. I but I feel like to be home and able to watch it, and I went. Oh, yeah, I should probably do that, huh? To be fair, I think with like Punk and AEW, it's like going to be like a Bret Hart Canada thing. Remember like during the Monday Night Wars, Bret would be in Canada and he's like this major baby face. And I I thought that was true. I thought that was, I enjoyed that so much. Yeah. I feel like he was great at it. I did too. Like he was just phenomenal. Like he was saying some real shit too, but I feel like that's what's going to happen with punk and AEW. I feel like, you know, outside of Chicago, I don't know where it would be, but I feel like there will, there will just be some towns and cities they're at that he's going to get a more favorable reaction. And then you'll have some where, you know, he's, they're going to just boo the piss out of him. He's going to be like, when are they going to run Cucamonga? Well, yeah, that's one thing I'm thinking of. But you know, look, I, I said hey, it. Hey, did you did you pick up on the uh, the reference he had there that uh, for Joe Strummer? What was that? Please explain. Okay. Uh, th- well, there is. Uh oh. Yeah, it, it won't uh, let me merge it. Harper's trying to okay. uh, dial us in, so. But we'll so, have to. We'll have to call him. He probably thinks that he's early. Um, <laughs> that's cute. Anyway, Joe Strummer was the lead singer and guitar player for The Clash, noted punk band. And mm-hmm. one of the things that Henry Rollins, who was the singer for Black Flag and the the um and his own Rollins band said. So one of the things that that and Henry Rollins is actually a pretty well-read and impressive fella. When Donald Trump got elected, and I'm not I'm just telling you what he said here so everybody calm down. He said, "Okay, boys and girls, this is what Joe Strummer trained you for. Stand up to the man. This is this is it's if you're into punk rock, it's go time." So that and so there's what CM Punk was alluding to there. Hey, Harper, how you doing, buddy? Gotcha. Hey. What's up, man? How you doing? So what did he say? Well, we were, oh, talking, we're just talking about... about CM Punk because we're excited that he's back. Yeah, we, yeah. we were talking about his promo in AEW Collision and Doc. What was the name that Punk mentioned in the promo? Oh, Joe Strummer. And Doc was explaining the reference to that person. In my thing, it takes more than one guy, though. They got more than one guy. They got MGF. It, it takes more than two. Now you're in trouble. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> no, just... I think they. I think they now, my more thing than is two. this, dude. You can't just take uh, Aaron Judge and fucking Verlander and put them on an Oakland A's, and they're also going to be a playoff team. It, it's well, it's it's not like that. Well. Mike, who has the most go away heat in AEW, in your opinion? The Bucks. That, or is it? Is it really? The um, I'm all a little of surprised them. by the that. The Bucks, the Omega. Like I don't. I just can't watch it. It's just dumb. Yeah. See, I don't like those guys too much, but they're not even. They're not the top for me. Who's the top? It's Moxley. Oh yeah, no. Nah, <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about it. He he. I just, it's channel changer. Like, just, he comes on, I'm like, the the whole persona, the, like, I, I'm sure Moxley's an actual tough guy, but he carries himself like a fake tough guy. It's just like, this is just not good. And his yeah. promos aren't it's good. It's not Steve and, Austin. Yeah. <laughs> and, I, and I feel bad, like, talking about him because, you know. I don't know, your buddy TGBL's fake Moxley has me rolling. Now, I've heard the clips on YouTube. 
That is hilarious. <laughs> that fake Moxley is really good. But I just, he does nothing yeah. for me. He doesn't move the needle. Like he, there's nothing about him that excites me. Move the needle except one guy. And that's the problem. And the problem is, bro, how old is CM Punk? 40, what, three? Two? Right. And he's, and he's injury prone because he has wear and tear. And, you know, he, he can't help that because he's 44. He's, he's, he's 44 and he has wear and tear that, that you can't avoid. And what if he blows out a fucking knee six months from now? And he's like, dude, fuck this shit. I, I am hurting because I guarantee you when he wakes up, Every day he fucking hurts. And okay, here's a question then. Mike, do you think that MJF goes to WWE when his contract's up? No. Okay. Even if they offer him more money? I'm probably just don't because I just don't want him to go there. Um can be a little bias here, but I just, I don't yeah. know. Like, I, I don't know, man. I hope he doesn't. As much as I don't like AEW, I hope he doesn't. I just see what they do to people that they bring in. They, they want to put their own touch on the person, and it's just like, yeah. it very rarely, I'll say rarely. So you're saying MJF is going to be wearing polka dots. Okay. I just, I mean, I can't imagine what they would try to do to him, uh, especially with Vince, like, being back, you know, on top of things the way he is. I, I just, I hope not. That's what it's not. like, dude. What if Punk just says, "Dude, I'm fucking hurting. I'm in my forties. Fuck this. I'm going home to my wife, and I'm gonna watch the fucking Cubs games. I'm fucking done." Now, then what I, the fuck are they gonna do? I do. Let me. He let me had every this. chance to do that with this last thing. Yeah, but I mean, he's he's in his early mid forties. How long does he want to do this shit for? I think so. One, Harper's got a point. He, he's older. Mid forties, right? He's not in his twenties or thirties and thinking, "Oh, maybe I'll do this." And maybe, right. maybe I'll go to fucking WrestleMania. Like, he's already done all that shit. There's so much money there for them to make if they just did a feud with him and know, FTR bro. and it's the just, Bucks and Omega. Bro. And I just feel like there's so much and money there just, that uh, I wish they would just bro, you ain't lying, dude, bro. <laughs> because everybody they is working to it. Not to be indie wrestling but it's the most indie wrestling shit ever <laughs> yes it's, it's so true listen to Harper, the man people Harper knows and I know like yes we've done indies and we were nobodies well I'll speak for myself Harper's not a nobody I'm a nobody I was a okay. nobody but but I'm the drama nobody. the drama behind the scenes in indie wrestling is spectacularly just terrible and oh, yeah. in, and those guys would never work together because of egos on the indies. And I'm just like, you have a national platform. You all could make so much money with this petty shit going on. And dude, they, that might turn, dude, that would fucking turn the guy they have needle, bro. They would, that would turn the fucking tide. I, I'm, I hope I'm with you because I know I, I am aware because he's. You know, because they're the fucking top dog, and it's that mean girl shit, bruh. They could make so much money if they just leaned into this and thing. It's fucked up. They had to make a a whole nether show just to get him on, and they basically had to separate the fucking locker room. <laughs> it's, it's just a pass. Just of remember, for two and a half years, people. we heard how how. What a paradise it was. No, oh, God, it sounds like... How many times did we come on here and hear it, hear that, and Mike's like, look, there ain't no locker room with wrestlers in it that's ever been peaceful, so cut yes. that shit. Dude, yeah, I, I, that, why I think that, Cody fucking hit the road. Bro, we... I remember saying it at the very beginning when I would hear all them dudes talking about they were singing Kumbaya in the back together. I'm like, look, man, I've never been at that level Never claimed to be even close to that level. But I have been in a ton of wrestling locker rooms. And there is so much drama and childish bullshit that oh, yeah. you can't even begin to imagine. Think about your workplace and some of the drama and bullcrap. But but 
also throw in the fact that in wrestling it's nothing but egos and just extreme egos and these dudes who think they're better than what they are and you will see so much crap on the indies and i kept saying like these dudes they've all been through the indies they've all been here and they're talking all this crap because it's all new to them there is nothing that peaceful and sure enough cody ends up leaving he doesn't really say what, what went on i'm guessing there's some kind of you know order in place where you can't talk about it but there was just and people can say oh well there, there was no drama until cm punk got there bull crap there was drama okay it, it, this dude he ain't the only one all right so i don't even want to hear that look there is tons of drama in every single dress less uh, dressing room and they they literally have like a they have a stick of dynamite. I know that the show is called Dynamite. They have a stick of dynamite right now. And they can light it and they can really make some money. They would pack buildings for at least six months off of the drama. If they could oh get God. these six guys, when I say six guys, FTR, Punk, Omega, and the Bucks to get in the ring and do some business. And furthermore, if Punk does get injured, if Punk just is like, you know what? I don't want to be in the ring anymore. Dude. He could be a goddamn mouthpiece and a manager for all I care in that same feud. And he would talk people into the building. And he would actually get me interested in wanting to hear Kenny Omega cut promos. Like, wow, for real? That <laughs> would just, make me watch this shit. But, but they're not, to Harper's point, they're not leaning into this because they literally had to create another show because of the drama. And that, to me, is just absurd. And then, it's bro, nuts. And, yeah, and then, and then fucking wait till the fall comes, bro. When college football starts up, have fun with that shit. Oh, I thought about <laughs> that. I thought they about this. Might as well play it on Sunday at fucking noon, competing Dude. against the NFL. Bro, I don't know how they they even can think they're gonna compete. At oh, six and seven o'clock on a Saturday afternoon in the dude, fall. You ain't lying, dude. LSU versus Bama and Ohio State versus me. who the f- bro who, who who WWE couldn't compete against that. They no couldn't smart enough to not try. Co- you're right. They're smart to be like fuck that noise. Who the Let, f- it, 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 God, bro? I just don't. It, it's just they had to make another show just to pacify these people. These snowflakes. It's 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 fucking crazy. And there triggered. is money being left on the table. No, 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 we're not doing it. That's what happens when your money mark has so much money that he's not interested in drawing money. Why doesn't right. the boss, bro? He's the boss. Just go to all these guys and go. You know what? This is what y'all are doing. If not, there's the door. I'll send you home but, and pay but you. But they don't see him through those set of eyes because and he doesn't give them a reason world. to right he's not from that world it's like that fucking movie with the uh it's like that show uh, i was the show with a football player he's just, the football coach and he's the soccer coach that's on i think ted it's lasso. Uh, yeah ted lasso they're like who the fuck's this fucking dude from america this football coach fuck you bro how that's many times how, it, how many times you wrestlers Mike, we're around somebody that was a mark or, or a, a norm, normal, a square, and y'all just started, you know, just fucking with them because you can. <laughs> and there wasn't even a paycheck involved. It was just out of sheer boredom. Yeah. I, I didn't do that, but uh, yeah, it <laughs> happened. Right. I mean, it's, it's really sad because, dude, wrestling. Because I'm saying, you. you know exactly what I'm talking about. Wrestlers yes. talk to each other any kind of way, man. That's what's terrible. Dude, that could turn the tide, but they don't want to do it. It's so, it's like if you have, you know, there, there's there's Patrick Mahomes sitting there holding the clipboard. Put him in, nah, bro. Fuck him. He's a he 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 fucking dated my girlfriend in fucking high school. Fuck him. I'm not putting him in. We're gonna have Steve DeBerg as the fucking quarterback. Alex the, Smith broken leg. Right. Nah, nah, but we're not putting them in. Fuck the playoffs. <laughs> it's just like, dude. Yeah, bruh. that's pretty bad. It and really the thing is. is, I could see having that attitude if they were turning a fucking needle and they were bringing in ratings and they were having people talking like, like you know, like The Rock versus Stone Cold. But they ain't that, dude. They yeah. are not at his level because yeah. they because they were trying to do it 
their own, and, and no one gave a fuck. No one gave a shit to where they had to talk him back to coming back. Yeah, I think um, Harper, Harper's trying to tell y'all. Uh, it's like it's just it's just it goes to show you they're in their business, not the wrestling business, bro. Punk did say that too. Kind of he 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 alluded to that. He said this is the wrestling business, and he did well, stress that. I can tell you, I, I, I remember one time Luke got into it with someone in the locker room, and it got bad. And they yeah. had a match that night. They still had the match. They still wrestled the match. And the guy that he was fucking in a shove match with, when the match was done, he got his envelope, he got his bag, and he went in his car and fucking went home. But they still fucking did it. Because it was, you know? Because they were... I, I don't... That's what I'm yeah. saying. That's what happens. Like, it's, it sounds crazy, but that's what actual professionals do on the indies, too. You know, like... Man, if we if we couldn't work with everybody we don't get along with at our shoot jobs... bro, you ain't... Dude, I say the same thing. <laughs> Everyone who listens to this works with someone that, if they die tomorrow, they'll be like, oh, that sucks. And then when they turn around, like, they fuck that motherfucker. <laughs> right? I, Bro, your boy over here, your boy over here work works with somebody that he wouldn't even have that reaction. He would be straight to fucking <laughs> RBD poses yeah. and all kinds of shit. Fucking, you know, y'all had T Rex and that. No, I mean, nobody was rooting no, against no, T Rex. No, 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 no. We, we didn't. Harmless little fella. T, T-, T- well, that Rex chick was that had the fucking rocks on her desk that rode horses or some shit. She wasn't that bad either. <laughs> Jesus. But but no, Hopper. I know exactly what you mean. You 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 makes you you make a really good point. No, you you yeah, I don't are... understand why they can't fucking realize that. Okay, when, Here, when here's the other thing. Die. They they talk about this locker room like oh it's it's just kumbaya like you were saying earlier, Mike. I've worked at my job for over a decade, and if I left tomorrow, the only person I would stay in contact with is one is one third of the booth here. <laughs> That sounds about right. Yeah, for real. Yeah. I, I get in the ring with them every day for nine, ten hours at a stretch, and we try to make some money. But then, like, you know, I'm going to clock out. I just don't get it, bro. It's just. They're, they're fucking up. Now, hey, Harper, I got a question for you. Uh. 